all right guys welcome to another video and in this one we're going to see how to make a simple footer with uh, social icons like facebook twitter instagram and email let's say so let's get right into it all right to get started i have this tailwind cdn as usual but along with it i have the cdn for font awesome font awesome is basically a library that can provide you with icons and stuff and i usually use hero icons.dev but they don't have some icons like social icons so for those you got to go for font awesome or something else all right so to start out i'll just make a simple footer tag and give it a background and then a text color so these colors are basically from tailwind css a uh, color palette and you can find that in their documentation right away so for background you just got to say bg hyphen color from color palette and for text color text hyphen color from color palette all right let's see i am a footer but this appears at the place of the nav right now so we have got to uh, position the footer correctly and that will do using fixed positioning so when we type fixed let's see what happens it it just what it does is it takes it out from the normal flow of the document and puts it where we tell it to and by default it has top 0 and left 0 which means it's on the top left corner but we can change that with classes all right so to make it span the whole uh, width basically we can say inset inset x 0 so what it does is it says it says that left and right should be zero and if you wanted to this to go the whole screen you could even do inset hyphen y hyphen zero this would make top left bottom right all of them uh, of the value zero which means it will touch all all four corners but what we want is instead of uh, top zero we want it to be on the bottom so we can say bottom hyphen zero and that positions it correctly and now we can add a little bit of padding let's say yeah all right and footer has usually small text so we can say text sm hmm and i'll just have a div over here copyright blah blah all rights reserved or whatever the shit they put in their footer Okay, and there's one thing that we can do. Instead of this copyright text, we can have this uh, copyright symbol. Like basically, that's a C in a circle, basically. And for that, you can use ampersand copy semicolon. And you would see right over here we have that copyright icon. I, I think I should zoom in for you guys. Yeah, right over here we have that copyright icon. And I'm going to change the text to extra small. Cool. And then. we're going to have one div for the social icons and for every icon we need to have classes so for font awesome every icon has to have a class of fa and then fa hyphen icon name so we can do this and now you see we have this instagram icon right over here so we can basically duplicate this a bunch of times and just change the i can name i can say facebook then twitter and for email i can say envelope so it's that easy to get font or some icons in your website and as you see we have icons for all of these now now to get them in the same line what we can do is we can make the footer a flex container Okay so now they are side by side and then we can say uh justify between now there are the opposite edges to add a little bit of spacing between the icons you can apply a class on the div that encloses the icons and this says space hyphen x hyphen 1 what this does is it smart it smartly applies spacing between all the elements of one unit basically yeah 
so i guess that's it for this video thanks for watching guys and if you liked it just drop a like below and let me know in the comments what you thought of it